Bitcoin is on the verge of breaking out of its very strong downtrend over recent months and getting a very large rise to the upside. In this video, as always, in a professional, concise manner, I will be providing you with the analysis, telling you exactly what you need to be aware of next, the levels, the trades, the targets, and everything in between. I think you're gonna truly love this video. So you're obviously here for the trades and the analysis, so let's get straight into that. Okay, picking up where I left off my last video for you all, which was last, well, earlier this week, right? Thursday, Friday time. Well, we were trading around 26,500, okay? <clears throat> and I wanna, uh, what I want to do now is this is going to be slightly complex for some people, okay? But it's not too difficult if you pay attention here. We have what is here a local range, okay? We can see our low that was put in on the Friday the 12th, okay? At around, let's just say $26,000. That caused a rally up to around $27,000. $500. So we have our local low and our local high. From here, price made its way down. And on Friday, we're obviously trading around this, what is the local range low? Didn't quite take the overall low, actually built up a higher low. And what happened here was we started to form bullish divergences. Okay, so bullish divergences are obviously a way that we can see what the larger players are doing. Okay, while your smaller players are smacking in market sells, the larger players are here with limit orders absorbing that. This is a bullish sign. Okay, so a few things to remember. We were at range low. Okay, you don't want to be shorting down here, right? <laughs> and at the same time, you're forming massive, I mean, really, really big bullish CBD divergences. This is a, you know, this is a positive sign for further upside. Okay, few factors. At the range low, massive, massive bullish divergences. And what is going to be slightly complex for you all here is to recognize this is our local range that we're in, okay, as I've just mentioned the values. And that local range is obviously being held at the re local range high on the bigger range low, where we're talking about from around the middle of March. So we were holding, you know, during the whole of March, April, support of around 27,500, right? So that old range low, support, 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 locally flipped into resistance. And we can see here, support, 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 lost, flipping that. If we just highlight this very simply, support into resistance zone. So we've currently made our way back up to the local range resistance which is the old, the, the even bigger old range support. So we are at a very crucial level here. Remembering the last video was also telling you about the strong downtrend, which is simply made up with just these lower highs, lower highs, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high just continuous lower highs. So although yes, we can actually have a very large move here on Bitcoin, if we can change this structure, break out of this range, not see any swing failure patterns. Why? Because throughout 20, you know, top of 27, 28K, you've really got little resistance, okay? Very little resistance here. And that can power this large move to the upside. But I think one thing that a lot of people struggle with is they get too bullish too quickly. You know, now is not the time to long, right? Because you're out now into the local range high into the resistance. And if the trend continues, this is potentially another lower high. So yeah, you can be aware of a potential large move to the upside looming here. Okay, we're on the verge of it, but we're not quite there yet. So this is where I personally would have a little bit of patience. You know, I, I personally wouldn't long into range high. Okay, we currently are, you know, being held down by the daily, for example. If you want to get into a long, you're going to have to look for the pullback. You know, that's the best thing to do. Or alternatively, if you struggle, you know, looking at long opportunities and trades, shout out to Eagle, who actually <laughs> managed to get into the long pretty much at the lower this move. Uh, so, yeah, absolutely brilliant from <laughs> the legend himself, Eagle, posting that on Friday, ending his day on Friday, telling everybody, yeah, he's leaving his longs open on Bitcoin. Well, here we are on Sunday, two days later, and his long is still going very well. Because why? Well, today we saw another move to the upside, right, to bring us up to this daily. So the next thing that I want to talk about here is, you know, briefly, those bullish divergences that we saw on Bitcoin. Uh, it's like I told you all, well, if you're in the group or on Twitter, right? Um, 
a lot of people, including myself, were wondering that once KYC was implemented on Bybit, would you know this stay as the best exchange for order flow? And simply put, yes, it does. You know, do your own research as always, but it at the moment remains with the highest win rate on order flow. You know, during the whole move down that we've seen over recent weeks, there was bearish divergence, bearish divergence, bearish divergences on Bybit. Okay, and while other exchanges had bullish divergences, and then here on Bybit, before the move up on Friday, this is 8 a.m. You know, I'm posting this and making my group aware. So 8 a.m. on Friday, we see crazy big bullish divergences on Bybit, while other exchanges seem bearish. And once again, the Bybit order flow has played out from 8 a.m. Seen then around 3 p.m. the large move to the upside, right? So the bullish CVD played out. So this is just something that I I'm always tracking, you know, which exchange has the best order flow. I'm not tied to buy a bit, you know, I, I have no contracts. I, I just trade here because I enjoy it. You know, obviously I've KYC'd and I'm happy to do that. But, you know, Americans especially, <laughs> they're not able to even. So, you know, there was that question of, is it going to remain as the best order flow exchange? And my, you know, findings thus far is, yes, it simply does remain as the best exchange for order flow. So yeah, don't sleep on the Bybit order flow. Still absolutely very powerful indeed. And if you don't know how to read order flow, well, Igor, <laughs> with his long call, <laughs> very powerful indeed, right? Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about through why we've seen this move to the upside. Now I want to explain what we're actually more specifically uh, looking at here, okay? When it, you know, when it comes to putting in the potential lower high or a very large breakout. Uh, other thing that I'd like bring attention to is, you know, on Bitcoin in my last video, I obviously said we've, we're seeing maybe one or two trades a day on Bitcoin, you know, this is fine and it's acceptable. You know, there are some good trades to be had. It's just they're a little bit, uh, you have to just remain a bit more patient for them to come to you. Right. And while that's happening, you know, the altcoins, nice volatility, really good trading setups. Just one that I want to bring your attention to here, uh, was what we saw on dot. So again, waiting on Bitcoin setups, waiting on the levels, you know, look at the altcoins. As you all know, I, I do enjoy trading Polkadot. This is just one of many examples that we've seen recently on altcoins in the group of another really nice call. So we see alts, uh, in particularly Polkadot, come down to the weekly, take some lows on the value area low. We really simply want to see a rise to the upside after that, right? Nice bounce. You know, you could say that this is a little bit late to the move, but I personally have very uh, high probabilities in my favor that this is going to continue upwards. So I'm happy to take that. Okay. And then here we come. We come up into the highs. That's where my take profit one was. Okay. You can see there's no delays on this. This is on a Saturday, 4 p.m. in the day, alerting the team. That's the take profit one. We've come up now into that value area high, took that high, and kind of lovely what happened next, right? From that, we got another decrease in price. So this is, I will always say to you, everybody, there's opportunities to be had. It's the weekend. Who doesn't matter if you see a trade, you can take it, whether it's on Bitcoin, whether it's on altcoins, you know, there's always trades and opportunities to be had. Chart champions, we are here every day of the week. And uh, as always, this is how simple it can be to make profits within the champions group right now. Follow along with the alts and make some great gains. Obviously, the other great gain on the alts right now is from Severum with his lovely call off of you know, what even was this? Uh, this was the INJ altcoin. So it's like altcoins galore right now. Anyway, that's enough of that. If you want to take advantage, you know where to get it on chartchampions.com, right? Moving back over to Bitcoin here. Okay, as I've reminded you of the altcoin opportunities right now, truly believe this. Whether it's up or down, right? You can long, you can short altcoins just as you can long and short Bitcoin. So obviously coming up into the short opportunity now on Bitcoin as we are once again making it, you know, very much aware we are into the local resistance with that potential lower high. So if this trend is continue to continue, we're going to be looking for the short here because of course we could put our stop loss above where that trend changes, okay, so for the invalidation. And if we are to see a breakout here, I want to make it very clear that if we see the breakout here, we actually change this trend, which has been in play now for several weeks, then there isn't a lot of resistance here around that 28k zone. I really foresee a large move to the upside where you can kind of get some short squeezes in, in here, right? There's a few what I would refer to as relatively minor levels, for example, the CC. You know, but I would always be looking at, you know, the confluence. Well, here we have confluence of taking this high. So this is where I would place the alert, see the reaction, 
Do you see a swing failure pattern? Yes or no? Do you see trap traders? What's the order flow like? These are all decisions that have to be made in the time as you get the alert go off. As, a, as it stands at the moment, we're nowhere near that. So we can look at more local levels, same ideas, look for swing failure patterns, get their reaction, you know, check the order flow, take the trade, okay? That would obviously be for short trade setups. For the longs, you're going to want, yeah, and I personally would be waiting for the retracement. I'm not going to get, you know, bullish and longing up into, into these levels, okay? So if you get the retracement, fair enough. Of course, you can be aware of things such as the CME gap tonight. Uh, CME opening, this will be 11 p.m. UK time. Um, and also tonight, 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m. UK time, I do have my Champions live stream. So, you know, it's it's similar to this, but of course, a lot more in depth. I'm marking out the levels, showing you how to mark out the levels, but you're not really there for watching that. You're more here for understanding my exact biases. I will show you exact trade setups, exact entries, stop losses, targets. You know, you're here more for that strong bias you know for the contenders level is to learn how to mark out the levels at the end of the day so yeah if you want really my exact bias is exactly what i'm going to be looking at next with exact trade setups well that's what i'm going to be going over in the champions live stream tonight at 17 um it's a uh, 7 30 uk time uh so yeah if you miss it of course you can always watch it back on our video library <laughs> uh you can get involved here in all the courses it's much like netflix if you miss a video watch it back at a later date video on demand elliot waves advanced strategies all that good stuff everything you need really of course this is all for the educational part and then again if you enjoy the sort of the more live trading well we got live trading right we now have also a weekly altcoin live stream added in all the good stuff that you really want it's always improving, always getting better and always new content and strategies for you. Chartchampions.com. That's where I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button. And if you want to see more from myself and the team, you can get that over Friar Chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. Final words. Check out the local market structure. If we get the break, don't get into the trap of the short squeeze because then we could see that large increase in price. Be aware of the swing failure patterns and right currently that lower high. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. It's me signing out. Love you all. CC Paul. Let's go. <laughs>